Have you ever needed to go back to previous code or forward to the code that you're just at before? Um, kind of like if I was in this file and I needed to go back to this file without having to um, click the different files or then scroll down to where it was, but I just wanted to go back to where my cursor was. Well, that's what we're gonna talk about today. So one of the easiest ways to go back to code, uh, back to previous code in VS Code is simply by using a mouse that kind of has these um, like side buttons or back buttons enabled. Oftentimes by default, or at least in my experience, maybe this may not be the case, maybe I was just lucky in my mouse setup. By, but, but in my case, by default, anytime I've gotten like a new mouse and I've tried it, if I hit like one of these back buttons, um, like this back button and then this forward button, that's what then moves me back and forth. But what happens if you don't have that? Like right now, I've been using, I don't know why, but I've been using this this little mouse right here. Um, I just got this other one, but I've just been using this little mouse and it doesn't have like on the side, it doesn't have like the back, right? So how do I go about going back and forth with my code? Well, I never really put together that one of the other ways is these back and forth buttons up here. Like, come on, Zach, right? But if you hit the back button, it goes back to the code and where you were. Uh, if you hit this forward button, it's gonna go to that forward one. And you can go back, you know, and your history is dependent upon kind of like where all, you know, your cursor has been um, and stuff like that. And so like, if I wanted to go back, say I just, you know, I changed that, it's wrong. I need to go back and change it. I can just hit the back button. It's gonna bring me to that last place my cursor was. Um, and then this will just move me to the next file. Um, and then if you do the forward, just like that. So those arrow buttons is probably one of the ways that I've been using a lot lately. Uh, because for whatever reason I am using this mouse, which again, I don't know why. Um, so that's, those are the first two methods. Now there's another one that you use is the shortcuts. And I'm gonna show you those. All right, so the last method I have is basically for those who want to be keyboard wizards. And I think it's awesome if you can learn the, the shortcuts because um, I try to learn as many shortcuts as I can. But if you don't know them and you wanted to figure out how to look it up and you want to use this same functionality, what you can do is if you hover over this, you'll see that it says that the, at least on my Mac, it says control and then the minus sign. So if I hit on my keyboard, if I hit control, minus sign you'll see it goes back and then if I hover over this one you'll see that it's like control shift minus sign to go forward so if I go um, control shift minus sign that's going to bring me to forward to this one if I do and then if I hit control minus it should bring me back to this file we'll do that and just like that it brought me back so those are the different ways that you can use to go back and forth um, to previous code throughout your data set or throughout your code base um, and those are, can be extremely helpful and help you become more efficient in your programming um, when you learn these things or use these because um, oftentimes like when you're in large file bases to have to go back and forth and sh you know and shift um, to different files or different parts of your file, especially if they get really long. Um, knowing these shortcuts and the and these tools within your ID, especially VS Code, is helpful. So I hope that helps you. If you if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. Until next time, keep on programming. Bye.